So yesterday I did a video on the comedy character Chopper Reed, not realising it was based on a real person, Mark Chopper Reed, who apparently is an absolute head case. So let's watch this video and find out a little bit more about him. But don't forget, hit that like button and hit the subscribe button. Let's go. I'm 37 years old now. Yeah. You know, I'm an old man. I don't do those things anymore. Those things he's referring to are a long list of ugly crimes. From petty rubbish to uh, murder, arson. I love how it goes from just petty crime to murder. That, that's, that's a wide range there, isn't it? If you think murder is one of the worst things you can do, that is a wide range of things to go from. Malicious wounding. I'm a very, very good shot. Would, you, good like, would you like me to show you how good a shot I am? Yeah. All right, well, I'll get my young assistant, Trent. Grab that bottle. Get over there. This place played by the hour. Once Chopper got started, there was no... Oh, Trent. Room. Trent, don't do it, man. Show you? Okay. He might miss just for a laugh. All right. Hold it up clear. Hang on, just see if the gun works first. Oh, the gun works nicely. Yep, I'm a crack shot. <laughs> How long has it taken you to be a shot? Crack shot. Trent has got some balls to stand in front of him, just holding that bottle out. It's almost, it's basically like the bow and arrow trick of, of shooting the arrow on top of someone's head, isn't it? Like that. Sort of. For most of my life. Chopper started a new life in Tasmania, primarily because it has the laxest gun laws in the country. Why does he have so many guns? He claims there are as many as 25 contracts out on his life. I want to know more about Trent, though. That's intrigued me that I, I know it's about Chopper Reed here, but I want to know why, who is Trent? Why was he hanging around Chopper Reed, who's clearly a psychopath? What's his story? Two serious ones. Uh, the rest are all jokes. Don't worry about them. The contracts that the Italians put out on me, uh, they're just good for a giggle. But it's not only for reasons of self-protection that Chopper insists on surrounding himself with so much weaponry. Because I have a, a great interest in keeping the rabbit population down. I feel that it's my duty <laughs> to keep the rabbit population down. I know a lot of, I know a lot of human rabbits too. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he definitely doesn't have an interest in keeping the rabbit population down. But I do like how he said he knows a few human rabbits as well. It's an absolute head case. And I love, yeah, I mentioned about the tattoos look like they've been drawn on with a biro or Sharpie. Um, I can see exactly why now, because those tattoos are horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. While in Pentridge Prison, Chopper alleges he cut off his own ears in an attempt to be removed from H Division. You don't have ears like Mickey Mouse, that's for sure. Can you tell us what happened to your ears? You're getting a bit personal there, aren't you? <laughs> oh, I've noticed. If I shot you in the kneecap, Renee, we're entering Logie territory. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're, you're the only journalist that's ever had a crack at my ears, you dirty <laughs> young bugger. <laughs> it's, it, it's, almost, it's almost really funny, but quite daunting at the same time. Good job he's not around anymore. But, but poor, poor reporter... She's standing there trying to ask questions and uh, he's almost like laughing but threatening at the same time. Oh, I wonder what was going through that presenter's head at that time. Like, what was she thinking? Oh, well, someone might just happen to turn up and shoot you in the face. <laughs> you never know. And he was removed from H Division to hospital. Was it to prove a point to a war? No, no, just to prove to get out of H Division. And then everyone else thought there was something in, uh, to be gained, and and, uh, and they all started cutting ears. off their ears, and a couple of characters cut off their d and uh, I bailed out of the gang. When the dicky birds start hitting the pavement, you know, I'm out. That's it. Me, <laughs> I'm gone. Finished. <laughs> the ears is one thing. Chopping off the ears is one thing, but chopping off your, uh, your you know, your woody woodpecker downstairs is, is, is another thing, isn't it? I only say Woody Woodpecker because you know what I'm on about and there's wood there. Just first thing that came to my head. Um, this guy is an absolute head case, honestly. Yet he had no problem oh. cutting off people's okay. toes. This was one of the tortures through which Chopper made money and a name for himself. 
I always thought the uh, removal of toes with a bolt cutter was rather humane. As I said to a mate of mine, Linus Patrick Driscoll, who was head of a group called the Toe Cutters in the uh, late 60s and early 70s, I thought that uh, cutting people's toes off with a bolt cutter was rather puffy. Oh, you know, I, you know, I thought it was rather effeminate. Why is that? Oh, like a bu blowtorch, you know? <laughs> the smell of burning flesh in the air. <laughs> he claims he's never tortured or murdered an innocent person. He says there was only one group he preyed upon. Scumbags, you know, basically people I didn't like, uh, drug dealers, heroin dealers, uh, people who, who had um, earned their living through uh, the sale of uh, heroin, made a lot of money, killed a lot of people. Uh, they had no right to the money. I had no money. So bugger them. It's almost... Look, in all seriousness, he's almost making out in this little section that he's like Robin Hood. You know, robbing from the rich and giving to the poor. Oh, and, and that's... You know, just because someone deals drugs doesn't mean you can bloody chop their toes off with a bolt cutter. You know, there is the saying, two wrongs do not make a right. Yeah, here we go right now. Uh, it's, you can't... How can you justify these things? I, I, you can't surely justify these things. Why should I stand on the footpath with me d in my hand while these... these Oh, I shouldn't say that. Sorry. While these people drive past um, in their Mercedes coupes and uh, wearing twenty thousand dollar Rolex watches and uh, making a lot of money, why should I? Why should I have nothing while all these dagos and wogs and assorted, uh, you know, third world brown types uh, make a fortune out of heroin? I think that last sentence sums this person up. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, obviously, this is my first impressions, hence the the YouTube channel. Um, but I'm just getting across that he, it's me, me, me. Why me? Oh, I, you know, I'm owed something. You know, people aren't owed anything in this world. You do what you do to earn it and, and to get it. But this guy, he wants to feel sorry for himself. That's what it seems to come across as. He's almost a more deadly and psychotic version of Joe Exotic. And obviously Joe Exotic, the whole craze last year on Netflix, um, the Tiger King. If you haven't watched it, do. Um, but he's almost a similar personality trait to, to, to Chopper Reed in the fact that almost it's almost that he's a bit of a loser, a, a bit of a weirdo, a bit of an outcast. So almost overcompensates. Uh, Personality-wise, I think actually they're quite similar. Like I said, correct me if I'm wrong, that's fine. Um... But this dude goes over and above. You know, Joe Exotic threatens to kidnap someone. This dude actually probably does it. Ever thought of getting a job? No, no. no. Perish the thought. No, I have applied for work. I have applied for work. Yeah. So how would you describe yourself? What is the job or trade you've been doing for the last 10 years? Or more? Garbage disposal. Mm. Garbage disposal. A sanitary engineer. <laughs> Tattoos are only part of the mutilation of Chopper's body. Yeah. I got stabbed with a an eight and a half inch butcher's knife here. What for? Uh, oh well, you know, this all sorts of things. Twice there, ice pick straight through the heart there. Stanley knife across there. Stanley knife across there. Stanley knife. Stanley knife. Stanley knife here. Bullet hole here. Ice pick here. There you go. Psychopath. That probably sums him up, doesn't it? That tattoo sums it up. Stanley knife. He's even tried to remove some of these tattoos with a blowtorch himself. The blowtorch was also his preferred instrument of torture. Back to those tattoos quickly. I was going to say, I hope he didn't pay for those tattoos because they are truly woeful. Uh, but then I thought, actually, he probably didn't pay for them. It's reasonably easy. He just takes a flame, a foot, <laughs> take the shoe off. She's absolutely tickle. shitting Lovely herself. I'd prefer if you explained it. <laughs> in his heyday in the Melbourne criminal underworld, Chopper played Russian roulette with a loaded gun for fun and money.
And when I told Chopper I thought he was a sociopath... I'm not a sociopath at all. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there is a slug in this gun. Now, you've got to take my word for it, but there's a slug in this gun. Well, I want one shot to my head. Oh, Jesus. One shot to Renee's. Are you ready, Renee? I don't think I want to play. Are you ready? You don't want to play. Bad luck. <laughs> that poor woman. It, honestly, I hope that woman was massively compensated by her bosses. Because he's just held a gun to her head. And how was she to know that there was nothing in it? Wow. This dude. So, as I said, he was clearly a complete head case. As I said about the whole me, 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 you know, like the world owes him something. That's what it sort of comes across as. He And, and, and his psychotic sort of behaviour is making him think like he's doing other people a favour and, and like some sort of justice, uh, some sort of hero. Um, and, and it's not, is it? He's a clearly, he's mental. He's clearly got something wrong with him up here or had something wrong with him up here because he's not around anymore. This man was a lunatic. But he, he's, he's sort of got that kind of um, bipolar type situation where he's probably really nice one minute and all of a sudden you do not want to cross him. Um, I, I hope my sort of comparison with him and Joe Exotic is fairly accurate um, in the, like I said, a bit of a loser, not really fits in with society, so wants to try and go over the top and impress and, tr you know, try and be cool. That might not be the right way of phrasing it, but hopefully you get the idea. That seems to be this sort of character. Um, what are your thoughts on Mark Chopper Reed? Do you think he was a a bit of a mental person. Do you think he needed help rather than being imprisoned? I don't know. Um, I certainly know if he was in America, it would have been punishment rather than rehabilitation. But is he is he able to be rehabilitated? I doubt it. Well, he may have actually in the end, because I know he was doing, he did like tours in different places to speak about his life. What a strange individual. Well, hopefully you enjoyed my sort of uh, look at him. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.